Part of defining yourself is to have consistent reminders that the person that you feel like you can be or want to be exists. Because I was exposed to a black scientist as in my first laboratory experience, I'm pretty sure that that really set the tone of, okay, you can do this. Kismakia Corbett is the picture of calm and cool, leading a team of National Institute of Health scientists in a rapid response to the deadly COVID-19 pandemic. I've always thought that vaccines were one of the way that we could get out of infectious diseases, whether it be pandemic or otherwise. And so I've invested my entire career in vaccinology. And in the name of COVID, um, I've obviously, for the last seven years, prior to even the vaccine um, COVID-19 coming about, I prepared to understand how we might make a really good vaccine for coronaviruses. So it was almost as if we were um, prepared for our purpose, so to speak. Dialogue about the safety of the COVID-19 vaccine quickly made distribution and education critical hurdles in getting the vaccine to the masses. Much of the debate around vaccines during this time came because there was so much that we hadn't taught people. And so it was our time to really step away from the science, um, so to speak, but then to become the world's vaccine teacher. And that's what we did. It was, it was a humbling experience to be doing your life's work, but in the midst of that, to be met with doubt and to be met with question and to be met with concern. But part of that being a humbling ex experience meant that it was just time for us to listen and to serve um, in a capacity that went beyond what our scientific calling was. And that was to be communicators around the science, to teach um, and to empathize. Corbett credits her family and friends for helping her get through that period of her career and says she drew strength from her role models to carry on. I loved Toni Morrison. My mom, is certainly a role model for me, my grandparents, my ancestors, right? Because of just how they paved the way for me and so many more. I, I like to look at my ancestors, right? Because of just how they paved the way for me and so many more. I, I like to look to women for inspiration in whatever capacity. And so not necessarily women who are just in science, but, but women in all arenas. Each woman just takes her purpose and utilizes it for the greater good of everyone. And I think um, I try to do that as much as I can, but uh, that's one of the most inspiring thing about women to me. Corbett believes pay gaps and lack of representation at the top of STEM fields are important issues worth fighting, but thinks progress has been made we have a long way to go. Just culturally, in the way that we accept women into the STEM fields. Um, but we've, we've come far. I feel more welcome today as a woman in the STEM fields in one of the best universities in the world at Harvard than I have ever felt in my entire career. And that's largely because there's so much inner um, institutional work being done to make sure that our workplace is welcome for all people. To young women across the world, Corbett offers a solid, lasting piece of advice. Take the nap. <laughs> Just, you know, when I was in high school studying all night or college uh, studying all night to get the 99 instead of the 93, take the nap. <laughs>